discover about things we don't know. Hello YouTube, this is Kids About Tech. If you want to know more about how to turn playing into learning, stay tuned. Oh, and don't forget to like, subscribe and smash that and smash that notification bell. Oh, you still told me. So to learn new things, we first look at them, then we touch or smell and ask questions. Experience is a great way to learn. We learn through all of our senses. Taste, touch, vision, hearing and smelling. We watch those around us and copy their language and behaviour. We can develop new skills and learn new things through play. It helps with language skills, emotions and creativity. It helps our imagination to grow and give us a sense of adventure. Whether it's messy play, creative or role play, it is a big part of learning. Playing with clay, drawing and painting, dressing up, playing with dolls encourages creativity and imagination. Building blocks in Lego can help with learning different shapes and sizes, putting things in order and developing logic. Playing ball games, dancing, running help to develop strength, flexibility and coordination skills. If you want to know and learn more, we can also use technology. There are many great apps to turn learning into a fun play and one of them is Marco Polo World School. It is an early learning video and game app that teaches science, technology, engineering, art and math skills. First, we need to choose from a list of favourite subjects, watch, watch a related video, which is then will be followed by a game. There's a monthly calendar, calendar to see what new topics are being added to the app. And our parents can view our progress. It's a subscription-based app, but we can try it free for a week. Adventuring in space. <gasps> Giant snowball! Headed straight for us! Zoom <gasps> through the stars with the polos as they race a speeding comet. Will the polos make it? Find out in our brand new episode, Adventuring in Space, out now. Tap here to explore. Ocean, did you know most of the ocean has never been explored? Inventions. Discover more about famous inventors, the invention of the toilet, and more. Let's go. Vehicles. Get ready to drive off, fly off, or sail off with the vehicles of the world. Space. Weather. Rain or shine. Exploring weather is always fun. Let's go! Me! Get the answers to all the big questions about yourself here. We'll change your ewes to oohs. Let's go! Arctic. Let's go explore the icy Arctic. Music. Ready to feel the beat? Learn about rock bands, melody, music notes, and more. Let's go! Dinosaurs! It's time to go back in time. Learn about the Diplodocus, the Velociraptor, the Ankylosaurus, and more. Let's go! <laughs> Choose one of those exciting subjects and then have fun learning! The Parasaurolophus lived in the late Cretaceous period. Interesting looking dinosaurs. Parasaurolophus. 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 You got it, Willow. The Parasaurolophus were duck billed dinosaurs 
They traveled in groups and were herbivores. Yeah! yeah. Oh, hello. Hmm, herbivores. So they only ate plants. Phew, what's that enormous thing on its head? It's a crest. For a long time, no one knew what they were for. Let me guess. They're antlers like Chester's? Huh? Well, some people thought they might help them smell or to breathe underwater. But actually, they were used to communicate with each other. Really? They talked with their crests? How? The Parasaurolophus's crest was part of its nose. It made a trumpety sound. A built-in trumpet on top of their heads? I want to join their band. Whoa! Who knew dinosaurs could make sounds from the top of their heads and be so loud? So today you learned about the Parasaurolophus. Ouch, that was hard. Hope you had fun. And don't forget to check out Marco Polo World School. And don't forget to subscribe.